Welcome, young scientists, to the High-Rise Disaster Preparedness Command Center. Today, you're going to learn all about earthquakes and become earthquake experts. You'll use this information to navigate our exciting escape room where you'll face challenges to protect the city. Remember, you can always return to this video if you get stuck during the adventure. Let's dive in. First, what exactly is an earthquake? An earthquake is the sudden shaking of the Earth's surface caused by the movement of tectonic plates. The Earth's crust is divided into huge pieces called tectonic plates that are constantly moving. Sometimes they push against, pull away from or slide past each other, building up stress. When that stress is released, the ground shakes, and that's what we call an earthquake. The spot underground where this happens is called the focus, while the point directly above it on the surface is called the epicenter. Scientists use a tool called a seismograph to detect and record the vibrations of an earthquake. They measure the strength or magnitude of an earthquake using the Richter scale. Earthquakes can be big or small, but even the smallest ones can be detected with these tools. Now, let's explore what causes these earthquakes. The Earth's crust is not one solid piece. It's made up of several tectonic plates. The places where these plates meet are called fault lines, and this is where most earthquakes happen. There are three main types of boundaries, divergent, where plates move apart, convergent, where they move towards each other, and transform, where they slide past each other. When plates collide or rub against each other, they create stress, and when that stress is released, we experience an earthquake. There are also different types of seismic waves that occur during an earthquake. The fastest waves are primary waves, or P waves, which move through both solids and liquids. The slower waves are secondary waves, or S waves, which only move through solids. These waves cause the shaking that we feel during an earthquake. All right, now that we know what earthquakes are and why they happen, it's important to know how to stay safe when they occur. If you're indoors during an earthquake, the safest thing to do is drop, cover, and hold on. Drop down, take cover under a sturdy piece of furniture like a table, and hold on until the shaking stops. If you're outside, find an open area away from buildings, trees, and anything that could fall. It's also important to have an emergency kit prepared with items like water, a flashlight, and a first aid kit. Knowing the safest evacuation routes is crucial to keep everyone safe, especially in a big city where buildings and roads could be impacted. Now that you've learned the basics of earthquakes, it's time to put your knowledge to the test in our escape room. Earthquake Emergency City Survival Mission. Remember, you can always come back to this video if you need help or get stuck. Ready for more adventures? Head over to excavatingadventures.com for tons of interactive, science-themed escape rooms and a chance to earn free dig kits. Let's get exploring.